DJ Event Planner will change the way you manage and run your business. Streamline all of your procedures and software into one easy-to-manage system. DJ Event Planner, the ultimate online planning tool. few seconds sooner than those people that are watching on YouTube. Good evening if you are catching us on YouTube, if you're watching this after the live showings. We're going to be probably confusing a little bit with our conversation tonight because we've got the YouTube stream going and some of you are watching there. And we have got some of our insiders who are watching the webinar uh, version of the show, which is basically they're seeing the behind the scenes of the Zoom the Zoom app that we're using so they can, they've been with us from the beginning of the show and they watched right through the transitions and such so they get to see when we're you know, doing and talking all the band, whatever. So that's that's why tonight we're going to be referring to a couple of different chat rooms at times. And if you have questions, please put them in your perspective chat rooms. If you're Howie and you're in both chat rooms, Howie, don't mess with my head and put it, the question in both chat rooms. <laughs> be nice. Uh, so this is this is going to be interesting. This is going to be very interesting. It, it, it'll be it'll be fun. It will be fun. The biggest biggest advantage, if you guys are are a part of the insider, is the DJNTVinsider.com is that there's some really great content out there. There's a Facebook group where you guys can go ask questions and, and share and such there. And then there's going to be some webinars, like tonight's first virtual DJ show is something we use live music for, real music, I should say, and that's going to be banned by YouTube. And we're going to be putting that in Vimeo, so that way you guys can come in as an insider and go through slowly as MJ explained all the buttons. <laughs> It's like, oh my gosh, that was so crazy. It was going so fast. It's like, I'm glad I'm recording. I'm glad I'm recording. <laughs> no, the Ian, the uh, two chats are not connected. So we have a left chat and we have a right chat, or at least I do on my screen. So, okay, Jared, I think oh, I've wow. got the house cleaning all done. It's cool. A, it's yours now, my friend. Oh boy. Well, uh, tonight's going to be interesting. This is, uh, we're going to be talking about Trello, and there's been some Facebook Messenger updates that have happened over the last week. Um, I've been trying for the last like hour or so to figure out a way to show you guys what, what this Facebook update is. And uh, it's just not going to work. Um, the update is affecting phones, but it does not affect tablets. So I've got my tablet hooked up, my tablets ready to go. But unfortunately I can't show you guys. Yeah. Because so, they, they have it set up so that you can't, you can't force the iPhone app to, at least I can't for, force the version of the iPhone version to the tablet. Yeah. Those it's, yeah. <laughs> you would, you would think that they would just want to hit everything as quickly as possible, but yeah, it's, it's okay. So, um, we so can, I'm we can gonna, rough it by, if you have to, you can hold up and talk about it and such. Well, we'll, we'll yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go it. old school. We'll, we'll go, go old, old school. school. Yeah. School. Just draw a picture with color crayons. That's really old school. And I enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> um i could do that on google keep by the way it's a little thing that we talked about before yes, I could we totally did. draw pictures on there which i gotta um, say my wife now has google has as keep on her phone and yes our, our first successful grocery shopping happened this last weekend i'm just saying oh really yeah like did, like she put it in into the in the keep system and then you just had to pick it up or, or what happened now it's, i'm like intrigued. it's the other it's the, it was the other way around actually i had all the things on there and she was shopping so i'm adding and, and i'm thinking okay i wonder if she saw this or not click yes she did as she <laughs> checks it off the list so <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of uh billy that that yeah those those are cookies right girl scout cookies Somebody's got yeah. a, somebody's got a good eye there. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I bought, um, I bought a whole bunch of cookies from, uh, uh a friend at our church awesome. and I decided I'm going to do something with these cookies. Cause when I, when I ordered them was like right after I went on my diet slash life change, mm -hmm. uh, type of a thing, which by the way, this has nothing to do with Trello or with, uh, with Facebook messenger, but this week I hit my 40 pound loss 
uh, for I started my 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 weight loss journey January second, and then this week, this past Monday, uh, I officially lost my my forty pounds. So, uh, but I bought these cookies and I I haven't eaten any of them. And I what I've been doing is I've been giving them away uh, to people who book with me or people that refer me. I'm like, hey, what kind of cookie you like? Sure. Thin mints. There you go. So. It's a dumb thing, but people like that oh, stuff. Oh, certainly, so. certainly. Little, little things like that. And generally, our, our brides and grooms are in her 20s, and a box of Thin Mints, well, she probably won't eat it because she's trying to lose, you know, keep her weight down for the dress. But he'll chow those suckers like they, they won't even get to the car. It's really, really funny. More brides have wanted the cookies more than the grooms. Uh, really? Like, yeah, more well, like brides the, come Like to- the guys aren't going to eat those things. We both know that. You, How do you say no to a Thin Mint once you open a box? It's like you can't eat just one. That's why I, I can't oh, open. Like if I, it's, a, it's a sleeve yeah. that's just straight into my stomach. So anyway, yeah, good eye, uh, good eye, Billy. Yeah, would happily give you some cookies if you're out here. So, um, all right. So uh, Facebook, we'll start with that because that's going to be the one that I don't have to jump around too much with the visuals and whatnot. Um, and my camera is acting weird as well tonight, so I apologize. Yeah, you about get a little that. shake in it then. It's, I normally have it on a tripod stand behind my monitor and it's up a little bit higher and my tripod, I totally forgot that I took it with me on an event and it's in my cable crate. And so now I have to remount this. So I'm going to try not to touch the, uh, the table cause that's what causes it to shake. But, uh, Facebook is all out going for Snapchat now and they did a big update, what they call messenger day. Messenger Day is exactly the same thing as Snapchat. It has the same types of filters and the masks and all that fun stuff. The only difference is it's on Facebook versus Snapchat. Now, this comes in behind, uh, if you remember, Instagram did it, uh, did, did, uh, did live things like this um, or, or snaps, if you will, not too long ago. I want to say middle of last year and it, it took off really, really well. And also Instagram is owned by Facebook. So in the social media world, everybody knew, Oh, hello. Everybody knew that it was going to happen eventually it, at some point in time, Facebook was going to introduce uh, a, a stories type feature or a Snapchat type feature. And uh, uh, see, even Reggie, Reggie said my hair looks like Jimmy Neutron. I'm telling you, <laughs> it's, it's got a weird thing going on tonight. <laughs> I don't know what is going on with it. I'll have to get, talk to my stylist. Anyway, um, we get stylists, right, for doing these shows. We, we get a yeah, budget. Yeah, 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 that, yeah. Okay, yeah. that's what I that's what I figured. <laughs> um, so, so basically, the way that it works is exactly like Snapchat. And I will show you guys on my phone, and you're gonna have to bear with me because um, it's gonna be on on this yep, uh, on yep, the yep. camera. But up there on the top part is where your stories are at and where all of your friends stories are at and everybody in between and you can view them just like anything else i did a little thing this morning um talking about uh this group called the optimist miracle movers and basically what they do is they do uh sports for children with special needs so if you have a child with autism or if you've got uh, a special well and then that was my other little story was they were playing too legit to quit on the radio. And I was like, I have to put that somewhere. So, um, so you add it to your day, just like, uh, I'll try my best. The little button there says, Hey, what do you want to do? Uh, we're recording. Take your, take your normal video. Hey everybody, what's going on? Um, hold it down just like on a Snapchat. And, uh, you'll see this. If you are friends with me on Facebook, you'll see that, we're all, we are recording Woo. right now with DJ and TV. There's John. Uh, and then you can send it. You can add different things if you want to. Uh, and then you just send it on its way to your story and then it'll update and uh, show exactly what's going on with your day. Uh, the reason that I wanted to, I, I kind of wanted to mention this and bring it up is I, I think this is just me. I, I've been a very, I, I've been a, I've been a big advocate that Snapchat is on its way out for a while. Yep. Um, I, I, I've said since I think the mini sessions, which was, I mean, it's only a couple months ago, but still it's, it's not, it's not going to be sticking around. Hey, there right, you go. There, it is that, is. It's, where, where, there we are. You can see it. It's right there. Boom. So that's yeah. where it shows up on my, because of us both being on messenger. 
Exactly. Yeah. If you have Messenger, all you have to do is open up Messenger. It's going to be the first thing that shows up at the very top. That's the first thing that pops in there. So I I think this is probably the second to last nail in the coffin for Snapchat. Uh, Snapchat is getting ready to go public and they anticipated that their stocks were going to be ridiculous. Um, they haven't done anything to innovate what they're doing. And even people that are in Snapchat, if you're friends with me on Facebook, like my personal friend, you don't follow my page, but if you're my personal friend, I just shared an article that was written by a gentleman on, um, that's right, Reggie, they, they did go public. I'm sorry. I thought they were getting ready to, but they yeah, did they go did, public. Didn't, yeah. um, it, I shared an article from LinkedIn which is LinkedIn. We'll do another show about that later on down the road. But there's a, uh, a gentleman on, on LinkedIn who did an exquisite job of writing exactly why Snapchat is on its way out the window. And um, they're, they're just not putting enough emphasis in creating something, something unique and something creatively different like they did when they first came out. Right. They first came out, hey, here's this really interesting idea where you don't keep your photos, you don't keep your videos, it's disposable, you you shoot it, you send it, it's gone in 24 hours, boom, you're done. The downfall was they stopped there. They didn't do anything else. So all of these teenagers, like if you are trying to get into high schoolers or high schools doing proms, if you're trying to get in with the you know 18 to 26 year old range, They'll still use Snapchat eventually, occasionally, but I'm noticing more and more of them are going back to Instagram. They're they're focusing back into that Instagram world. One because it has stories, it has a, the same thing that Facebook has. Uh, but two, uh, they've already got a larger base unit. It's easier to operate. It's easier to find people that they want to find and connect with people. It's easier to filter out stuff that they don't want to. Um, Snapchat just. Great concept, great idea. They hit the ground running and they just lost momentum in my opinion. So um, I, I think Facebook Messenger Day is is going to be the Snapchat for the people that don't want to have to check seven or eight different social media outlets. Um, I'll even show you on my phone. I used to have Snapchat right there, <laughs> that little spot. And it is gone. You can kind of see what I use a lot. All my social media stuff is is right there at the bottom and then several other um, uh, apps right above that. So uh, Snapchat is officially gone. And uh, the more that I've been playing with Trello, which is the other thing that I'm going to be talking about, um, that might be taking the place of Snapchat on my screen number one. We shall see. We shall see. It hasn't made so, it yet, but it's in the running. <laughs> it's almost there it's kind of on its way uh so anyway yeah facebook messenger day that was the big uh i guess i'll just say that was like the big uh, social media update of the last seven days that was the big thing that hit people are not using it as uh quickly as one might think i've got quite a few friends and i've only seen uh a couple a couple different ones. So, now, uh, Jared, when you, where, when you put your did that video, where does it show up on your phone? Okay, so is that, I'm when you at, yeah, I, I don't know where they show up. So when I took my video, it was in the Messenger app. Yeah. So opening up the Messenger app, and as soon as you open it up at the very top, your friends all should be coming across right here. Yep. 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 That's where it should be happening at. So and your video um, shows up there too. Yes, my video shows up there too because it says it's hard to see, but it says my day. So instead of it saying uh, Jared Wade or John Young, it'll say my day, and then I can click on it. I can click on it, and then at the bottom, you can actually see, and you click it, it'll tell you everybody that has has seen it. Oh, that is so you cool. can. Yeah, you can find out who's actually watching it, who's not watching it. Um, there's, of course, a little settings feature of, you know, do you want to filter out people? Do you want certain people to not be able to see what you're posting on your day or, or what your uh, what you can and cannot share, so to speak? So, um, again, as you can see, I've only got me and one other person that are really using it as of right now. Um, that just means I there's nobody else on my friends list that really is sort of using it now. To go along with that, it's only seven days old. And in the last seven days, there are some, oh boy, John, you are going to town with 
Facebook Messenger day. Oh my goodness. That that's an insider exclusive right there just to watch you make your faces. Oh my goodness. Um yeah, so it's only been out for for about 7 days. Um I downloaded it on day one. On day two, there were all kinds of issues, uh, at least on the Android version. So they've already released an update. I uh, updated that last night, and it looks like it solved a lot of those issues. We'll see if it sticks around. We'll see if it's something that people want. Um, but it's Facebook, so they are, uh, you know, they are shooting for. <sighs> They're shooting it to take out as many other social media outlets as they can. They want to be the two, Facebook and Instagram. So that's what they're doing, and that, that's that's what's going on. So uh, Reggie, hey, question. Can, uh, is it can you do Facebook Live on the phone? I, I'm not sure exactly what your question is there, Reggie, but yes. It's written, it's written, hey, question. Uh, I do Facebook live on my phone. I'm going to anticipate that means how do I do Facebook live on my phone? <clears throat> so on your phone, well, actually that one, I might be able to show you on the tablet. Let me see here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what he wants to know. Good. Um, oh, okay. So Facebook live is actually not part of messenger. It's a part of the main Facebook app. So let me make sure I have the Facebook app downloaded. Because if I don't, then I can download it real quick. And I'm happy to show you, Reggie. I have no problem showing you how that process works. I am downloading and installing right now. Yeah, Facebook Live works off of Insta or off of Messenger itself. I'm sorry, off of Facebook itself, not Messenger. Messenger is a totally separate thing. So if you want to do Facebook Live, you need the most recent version of Facebook uh, for your phone. Uh, and then. Hey, Billy, if you found it on your iPhone on Messenger, go ahead and start using it. And uh, I'm thinking, though, what he found on, uh, on the iPhone was the, uh, the video would have been what we were just talking about, the My Day. Or Ed. Perfect, yeah. It's got, it's got to be. What's lagging, Reggie? Lagging? Probably me. No, it shouldn't be. We should be awesome. The webinar. It should may it's it's Reggie. It's your fault. There will be Reggie. like if you if you're watching between YouTube and the webinar software, you will see that there's definitely a difference there because the webinar should be. Yeah. Oh sure. So so then one of our friends uh, when they replied to to my little video, mm -hmm. it shows up in a it pops open a a chat window. Yep. You can re when you respond, it responds within Messenger. That's why they integrated yeah. it with Messenger. Interesting. All right, so, uh, man, why is this taking so long? I'm just trying to install Facebook on a tablet, and for some reason, it's taking... It uh, is a huge app. ...three days for this thing to download. So I'm going to let that, I'm gonna let that uh, continue to work. I will come back to that if we have some time at the very end, Reggie, and I'll show you how to do Facebook Live. Super simple process. It just works through the Facebook app uh, itself. So uh, Mikey is talking about Trello. Yes. Um, I don't. I, I know a few different Mikeys, so I don't know which Mikey this might be. But yes, Trello is a service that was requested uh, a few shows ago. We did an open Q and A, and we we're like, "Hey, do, what do you guys want to know? Uh, what do you guys want to know a little bit more about?" And somebody said, "Hey, can you do something on on Trello?" Uh, so I did some research. I'm going to give you fair warning right now. I have. I'm not a pro user at Trello. I have looked at it over the last week. Uh, I have explored with it a little bit more. I have set it up as, as, as basic as I can. And so when we jump in here, you're gonna see a really, really empty Trello unit, but I understand it really, really well. So hopefully this is gonna help you guys out uh, more than just me blabbering on over and over and over again. So, uh, all right share my screen with you guys there we there go we all right so this is trello and uh, basically where if you go to trello.com oh i want this thing somewhere else there we go okay um do 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 do, do. uh we'll just go ahead and go to trello.com and when you go to Trello.com, oh, it's going to log me straight in. Uh, basically, it's just going to give you a, a generic, hey, this is who we are. This is what we do. And then you sign up for the service. As it stands right now, 
Uh, just to give everybody a heads up, I do not see a paid version of it anywhere. They only promote a free version to my knowledge. Okay. So just kind of giving you guys a heads up on that uh, as it stands right now. So saying that, the, the easiest way that I can describe Trello is, and I have, uh, John, just to kind of give you a heads up, I have minimized the chat on, okay. on, yep, on there. So on. Perfect. Um, the, the easiest way that I can explain Trello in simplistic terms is think of Trello as giant whiteboards that you can put post-it notes on to keep it in specific sections. So if you've ever gone to like, um, if you've ever gone to a, a marketing department, they normally have giant whiteboards that uh, they're writing like a core ID on. Mm -hmm. And then within that whiteboard, there's sub ideas. So this basically Trello takes the to-do list to the next level. It allows you to break stuff down um, as much as you want to. So I'll give you a, a quick overview of, of, uh, of, of some ideas that you could possibly use them for. Um, it's, it's when you sign up for it, you go to Trello.com, you say, Hey, I want to, I want to sign in or I want to, I want to uh, sign up for an account. You put in your name, you put in your email address, you create a password. That's it. There is nothing else that you have to do other than that. So, um, when you get in there, this is what it's going to look like. I have done absolutely nothing with this. This is what it looks like as soon as you get in to your account. I've already verified my account, so you don't have to worry about uh, that. You're going to get an email. Click here to confirm this is the email. Now, the boards, like here's a welcome board. You click on it, <clears throat> and this gives you a good overview of what you can and can do with with uh, with Trello. Um, John, the more I actually look into this, mm -hmm. the more I think it might be a really good tool for you and DJ and TV to maybe start using, hmm. um, even more so than Slack. And I love Slack. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of Slack. This might actually be more fluid for what you do and how you approach it. This would also be really, really useful for a multi-app. This is also, I, I was thinking about it before I jumped on the, uh, on the webinar. I, for a single app, I'm starting to even think of more and more ideas of how you could possibly use this for just a single app purpose. So, um, so what you have is you have your main whiteboard. So up here, it says welcome board. This would be considered your main whiteboard. And you have to kind of go with me on the name whiteboard. What I'm, what I'm thinking is you have a wall. So your wall is back here. So this would be considered like your wall. And then you have individual boards. So this board, this main whiteboard, if you could kind of think about it in your mind, would be on your, on your wall. And then within this one main whiteboard, you would have individual things lift, listed after that. And that's where these all come into play at. These, I would consider really intricate post-it notes. That's how I would classify these different things. Okay. They are, they are simple things that show, hey, this is what I'm trying to do, or here's a specific comment. Um, you can put a due date that syncs up to your Google Calendar if you want. If you use Google Calendar, you can uh, put attachments. You can actually sync up with your Google Drive or Dropbox or uh Box, OneDrive, or through your main computer. Um, the attachment section is is actually really really nice. I I really dig that. Uh, but again, that's for me. Um, you can copy, which is it, which is it sounds silly, but when we get into some of my ideas that I had that, that people could use specifically wedding DJs uh, or event special event DJs, the copy feature. Um, is probably going to come in super handy for them. So uh, there's a few other options and actions on here. I'm not going to go into too much detail on those right now. I just wanted to give you the idea of this is this is more or less a post-it note, and you can have this post-it note be very very broad and very wide. So uh, like members as an example, I could invite you know if John was on there, if he had a, if you had a Trello account, John. Mm -hmm. I could invite you to specific notes or to specific boards. So this right here is a specific note. This is a is the spe uh, specific. Uh, it's really hard to describe, so that's why I'm glad I can show it to you. But you have your board, you have your note, and then you have your individual items that you have to do. Okay. 
Um, so with your individual things to do, you can add, of course, members. But even with your specific note, you can uh, attach people to that as well. So um, let's see here. At least I saw this a little while ago. I know that there's a way to do this. I wish I wish I would have set up an account for you so that way I could actually do that. Yeah. Anyway, um, the cool thing that I like about this, um, and it's really jumping out at me, is you can move the individual items around. So if they have a priority list, like if this you know dog thing is not priority, you can move it down to the very end. Or if you need to, like this is stuff to try and then stuff to, to try or that you have tried, you can move it over to a different list. Um, you could add additional lists and things that I liked. So if I want to scoot something over there, that works as well. Um, what I foresee this being used as is for a multi-app, being able to stay in contact with all of the people that you have working for you. But even more than that, breaking down your events, possibly even per month. Um, this is a great visual assistant for people that need help to get organized. So if you use like a DJ event planner, if you use DJ event planner, it's got a plethora of different services that you can use for staying on top of emails or doing this or doing that or whatever else. But I mean, I don't use a lot of those features because I don't like the visual styles of it. I don't like how it looks. I don't like how it operates. That's just me though. So what you could do is let's just create a new one and I'll show you. So this one is, I'm going to call this one weddings, uh, March, 2017, or let's just make this a little bit more broad. Let's do events, March, mm -hmm. 2017. So what I would, what I was conceiving to do, I want to change the background. I want to make, I want to make the, what is business class? Oh, uh, okay. Okay. I, there is a, I guess there is a paid program. I was only looking, I didn't know that they had a business class selection. So, and this is, this is the, the part that I've got a friend who does YouTube videos and he has a, an editor. So there's a, there's a person who does his, his, uh, scripting, or I should mm -hmm. say the, the, um, closed captioning. They take the, so he has, he has, a, he writes the things and he shoots it and he puts all the videos up and then he communicates with Trello to his editor who does their things and they, they have their process and then they're able to, they communicate and keep all their notes in this on the process of it as they're going through it. And I think the business part is what he's, they're using for this. Which makes sense. If you're using it that in debt, I mean, it's 10 bucks a month for this business class, but it's, it's, it's very similar to Slack where. I only use the free version and it does exactly what I want it to do. Right. So if you want to be able to have patterns and textures and photos for your background, go for it. I'm just going to use orange or red or purple or green or mm. whatever else is, that's out there. I'll go pink. I don't know how that looks on your end, but it looks pink. I'm going to go pink. Boom. All right. We're going to go pink. So um, events, March, 2017. So what I was thinking about doing was starting up lists for specific events. So let's say that I have the Clark Davidson wedding on March 25th, 2017. I could possibly use this as my my main focus of things that I need to do for that wedding. So if you're looking for a visual representation of, you know, uh, edit first dance. Okay. Now, now that is, that is on my, that is on a list of things that I need to make sure that I get done. Um, clicking on that specific thing. What you could do is you could share that maybe, uh, you know, Mr. Clark or Mrs. Davidson or whatnot has a Trello account as well. And you could share this and then you guys, you could actually use this with your clients to keep on tap and on track of things that you need to do. So, you know, let's say that I've added Jim Clark 
to this or Kim Clark. We'll go with Kim Clark because I can't spell. Um, I add Kim Clark to my Trello account and now I can talk to her back and forth specifically about this first dance, edit first dance. And then once I get the first dance, hey Kim, take a listen to this edit and let me know what you think. Send that on the way and then maybe also put the attachment of the actual song. And I can keep all of this specific conversation just to this little section. This is the thing, this, this, this portion of Trello excites me more than anything else. This is the thing that um, uh, Slack really doesn't do all that well. Um, this is the thing that Google Docs doesn't do all that well. You can share documents and you can share Excel spreadsheets and you can both work on them back and forth. But keeping something like this is it. I want to be really honest. I'm, I'm very excited about possibly using this, especially with my clients, because I know the one thing that most of my clients always talk about is they like to know the, what's the easiest way for me to be in contact. And if they use Trello and it's already a service that's free, yeah. So if I could offer them a free service that, that I could help them set up and use, uh, and it will keep their stress level lower, this is something that really jumps out at me quite a bit. Uh, you could, of course, edit the description if, you know, uh, uh, what's a good first dance song? I don't know why I keep thinking My Little Girl, and My Little Girl is not a good first dance song. So um, <laughs> um, we'll just go with Marry You, Bruno Mars. So let's say that, that that's the song and then the edit is take out 30 seconds at the end and then save it. That will at least let me know. Okay, so this is, this is what we're doing for the description. This is what needs to happen. Um, here's another possible idea. If you've got a multi-op, if you're a larger multi-op, like, uh, you know, 10, 20 guys or whatnot, and you have somebody that does edits for you, you could just have, instead of an events March 2017 folder, like you see up here, you could just have special edits and then uh, keep track of them by month. Yep. Uh, I, I think that keeping track of things by the date will keep you in a, a better frame of mind when you're getting closer to the, the time of it needing to be done. So I, of course I can put a due date on there. I could say, Hey, this needs to be done by the, the 20th next Monday and putting that on there. Um, to my knowledge, to my knowledge will also sync up with my Google calendar once I've connected the two. Oh yeah. So, um, that is a, a great thing for me because I live on Google Calendar, uh, but I could definitely see that being useful for multi-ops, single ops. Again, I'm a single op, so everything that I'm talking about is definitely something that I could do for me as itself. Uh, you also have labels. You could create labels for uh, really anything. You could put a description in there about you know, uh, music edits, give it a color, and then now that that now that's on there, if you ever do a search for a specific uh, label, whoops, that's not the button I was looking for. Music edits. Oh well. Wow. Oh, hang on, hang on. There we go. Maybe this is where it's at. Well, I thought that's how I got into it. So I'm so sorry. I really thought that that's how I was supposed to get in there. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. I guess I was wrong, but uh, you can keep track of all of your, all of your lists. It kind of helps you just have a visualization of, Hey, green is music edits. So if you have, if you have multiple ones going across here, then you're going to be able to keep track of them. Go back, Jerry, go back to that screen and, and do a search for Clark. Let's see if it pulls that the title up for here. Yeah. Do click the. No, it didn't do that, did it? Didn't it? Hmm. Um, that's interesting. I would thought it would have. Uh, I would have thought it because that's the title of that. Uh, well, now, now, if you go up to the upper left-hand corner where it says boards, mm -hmm. and you click it. Yeah. 
Well, so I guess if you wanted to do it like that, you would have to make it the board. Yeah. You couldn't you couldn't break it down by that much. So you would actually have to create a board for, you know, yeah. Clark that wedding. Davidson wedding. And then once that's in there, when you go back into here and you do a search for Clark, then it would pop right up. Gotcha. Yeah. So I, it's not a it's not a horrible it's not a horrible change. Um, I, me personally, I think that I would prefer to keep it in this type of a format mm -hmm. where it's separated by month. Um, that would just work easier for me. Yeah. But you know, if if you really wanted to use these find the boards by name, you would you could do it by the individual wedding. I could you know what else I could definitely see is collaboration with other wedding professionals. Oh yes, and and then or not even wedding professionals, um, collaboration with venues, uh, with uh, event specialists, with uh, planners, anything of those natures. Um, if they all started using a service like Trello, where you could all share a, a general board or a general area like this, and then you just you would create a Clark slash Davidson wedding or or whatnot, you'd be able to. I could see that being a, a super helpful. Oh, what's I'm looking for? Uh, a tool, a mm -hmm. super helpful tool, just to stay on top of everything that's going on with, uh, with, with all the the changes that happen. And um, man, the more I talk about it, the more I'm actually liking it. I it's weird to talk myself into liking <laughs> something that, and of course, you know, I'm I'm like that. So uh, this is also where you could add. Where is it at? There we go. Um, for this entire board, this events March 2017, you could add members over here in the upper right hand corner. And how I got to that was at show menu. Okay. This is where you could add somebody for for the whole thing. And um, so if you wanted to add a bride or a groom or a planner or anything like that, and then it also has kind of like a timeline of, hey, here's some stuff that's been going on within the activity. Hey, Kim, take a listen to this set and let me know what you think. You click on it and it takes you right to where you're at. Uh, David mentioned that uh, you can plan some social media posts with this also. Yes, you can. So if you pair this up with a service like um, if this, then that might work with it. Um, but I think there's another service that's similar to if this, then they called uh, Zapier yes. or yeah, Z a Z A P I E R. Uh, it's very similar to if this, then that the only major difference is Zapier uh, costs money. If this, then that is completely free. Zapier does, they do charge you. Uh, there's a free version, but of course the free version is very, very limited. Uh, the, uh, the expanded version, you can have all kinds of different things. But yes, you could theoretically set up a, I'll get back here again. You could set up a board, you know, uh, social media posts. And then once you get in there, depending on how, how Zapier works, and I'm not super familiar with Zapier. That's something that I need to take a look at a little bit more. It could, it, you could set it up to auto schedule posts. The one thing and I've talked about this before. The one thing that you have to be careful about auto scheduling social media posts is Facebook and Instagram specifically will ding you really heavy if they know that your post is coming from a third party service. So if it's going through a service like Zapier and if it doesn't show up as it's an authentic post from you, Facebook and Instagram will not allow it to have as large of an outreach as an, yeah. an organic post from you. So um, that might just be a little bit of a testing thing that would, that would have to happen. Um, uh, maybe that's something that I can I can do and, and give you guys some feedback on it after I've tried it a few times. But I know that I've tried sources like Hootsuite. Um, Hootsuite was kind of the first one that came on board that allowed you to schedule and pre-program a lot of your uh, Twitter posts and Facebook posts. And every time that you use Hootsuite to post, it actually says on Facebook posted from Hootsuite. They're trying to do their marketing and, and really label it up. So the downfall with that is as soon as Instagram or Facebook knows, hey, this isn't actually coming from John or from Jared, boom, your 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 engage not your engagement, but your outreach uh, is going to get get cut Windows, in, in yeah. half. Yeah. So, um, something else that I noticed in uh, in Trello that I thought was kind of cool was you could create a team, and I haven't explored with teams too much, so bear with me, but. Um, 
at, at first glance and through some of the investigation that I've done, just like it says here, a team is a group of boards and people. It helps keeps your it keeps your company, team, or family organized. So business class allows you to do a, a lot more than that. So if you had a, a team that was specific to social media or you had a team that was uh, specific to certain types of things, um, this is this is the area that you would want to do it. So like for uh team uh for john let's see here djn tv socially mobile so and this is chat between here it is i'm reading it where the business class description is it says at the bottom of that that you can that it gives your team superpowers i mean if that isn't worth <laughs> 10 bucks a month i don't know what is <laughs> Uh, take my money well, it depends on what the superpower is i that's mean if it's true <laughs> if it's flight that's a solid superpower but if it's like explosive diarrhea then i'm gonna vote for i'll stay with non-business class thank you so much <laughs> i guess that's there's just, that way to look at it <laughs> there's there's just not something that i really want to be a part of if you don't mind so um so john this is a chat between john uh jared and jimmy uh, for those that know don't know, Jimmy does a lot of the uh, the work for DJ and TV. No, I believe the, a lot of the artwork. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So this could be something that it, it is just set up for 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 us, and then uh, when new boards are created, it's kept in this specific area. So if you created a board on um, you know upcoming shows. Once that's created, all of us are going to have access to that. I don't have to individually go through and add those members over and over and over again. This is something sure. that's going to stay in that specific in that specific time. So, um, and then of course you guys could update them. You could add different things, upcoming shows. You know, this could be you know sh sh show ideas, uh, and then. So show ideas. Oh my gosh, how come I keep doing that? ideas and then past shows graphics i mean you could do all kinds of stuff right. just to kind of keep things organized so show ideas um an idea could be uh oh zapier there we go i was just talking about that there's a zapier past show we've done one on instagram it would keep us on track of what we've done and what we haven't done yet yeah. uh graphics you know, there could be a whole thing about, uh, you know, um, uh, what is this called? What is it? Uh, Zapier. Uh, yeah, we need the Zapier thumbnail made or something like that. Yeah, Zapier header. And then when you get in here, um, since everybody's already connected in there, Jimmy's on there and you're on there, you could easily write a, a quick thing about, hey, this is going to, this is for the show on for. 15 2017 and once that's up there jimmy jimmy could create the graphic and then jimmy jumps in here throws the graphic in there through his computer or through google drive or whatnot and then the graphic would be located here so instead of having to try to email it to everybody or trying to facebook message it to everybody or trying to uh just pass that graphic along it could be centrally located right here um quote unquote in the cloud so if anything was to happen then uh, we'd be able to grab it. You could even put a due date and say, well, if this show is for 415, which is a Saturday, whoops, um, this graphic needs to be done by 410. And then boom, now we've got something in here for when it specifically needs to be done by. So again, the more I talk about this, the more I'm actually liking the system, <laughs> especially especially if you have teams, if, if you have yes. other people to work with. Um, I, and I said this before, but I'm going to say it again. If you are a visual person. If you're a visual person and you enjoy being able to have the ability to see uh, things that you've completed, things you need to work on and everything in between, this is a service for you. This is going to help you out exponentially because you're gonna be able to pull it up and, uh, and take a look at everything front to back. Uh, I am gonna show you, I know that we're getting close on, on, on time for, for ending. So the, there are two other things that I wanted to show you. One, I'm gonna show you what it looks like on a, on a tablet or on a mobile device. Uh -huh. uh, and then there's another website and it's kind of a part or part of 
uh, Trellio, which is if you go to Trellio.com slash inspiration, right up there, Trellio.com slash inspiration. What this is, it is just a, a, a whole plethora of different types of ways people are using Trellio. Now, the reason that I wanted to share this is when I was first researching this, I was like, what is the point for some of this stuff? There's just, there's no point to really getting in there and creating <laughs> another checklist for me to have to stay on top of to figure out what needs to be done, how it needs to be done, when it needs to be done, and everything in between. Uh, but when I started glancing through here, I was like, actually, some of these boards look kind of cool, uh, like this one. Uh, bu- 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 bu. This is this is just a developer board. This is just a whole bunch of people that are working on uh, like incoming bugs. Th- this this shows a, a great uh, overview of what is going on with this. It has your 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 activity. It has uh, you know light box loading issue on Safari. So for a DJ, you could have you could have a board that is specifically designed for hardware issues, or you could have a board of uh, music that needs to be fixed. If you're at a gig and you hear a song that has an issue, you could jump on your phone real quick, jump into your you know music fix. Uh, board and then throw that song in there and then when you come back in here you know oh here are my incoming bugs or you know uh, music bugs these are all the songs that I've had issues with that I need to I need to get these for one reason or another right Um, another board that I saw was which was kind of cool was something simple like starting a business starting a business it breaks it down into creating a Facebook page, reserve a Twitter handle, open a bank account, copyright trademark logo. Those are on his to-do list. Things to research, loan investors, crowdsourcing, so on and so forth. Um, here's one for an employee manual sample board. So they basically have, have used this as a, a search tool for their employees. So if you've got a multi-app, if you've got several people, you could just put your put your all of all of the information in here and then people can just search for them as they need to like vacation holidays and time off well i need to know about what how my parental leave policy how how that part works well here's all the information that you need to know is right there it sounds like it's an overkill but when you break it down and that's just one board out of the unlimited amount that you can have it's actually not a bad idea right um a sale a sample sales board Uh, and then one that jumped out at me was wedding planning this was something that I was like, I love this person, whoever made a wedding planning Trellio board, because they've got it down to what they need to do and how they need to do it. And it's phenomenal. Um, it's not giving as much detail because these are sample boards, of course. But that website, uh, Trellio.com slash, where to go? There it is, slash inspiration. Take some time, look through there, see if there's something that jumps out at you that you're like, oh, that's actually really cool. I never thought about using it in that way or that form or anything like that. Um, I know somebody I think asked just a second ago about over here, there's filter cards. Okay. Um, filter cards. So well, this is a bad one because I don't have any cards in here. Do, 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 do. There's one right there. We'll go with that. So um, show menu. Filter cards is, is the thing that you could use to filter down into those you know that green music edits? Yep. You could do it right here. So you click that on, and then it only shows up what's what's there. Oops. So as an example for Jimmy, when he needs to design graphics, if there was a if there was a label that said graphics, uh, yeah, that just says graphics, and then when he jumped in here, he just turned on that filter to the graphics filter. And that's all that he saw were the, the graphics that needed to be completed or needed to be updated or whatever else. That's how you would get into that. Um, what was the other one that I saw? I think it was the power-ups. Hmm. Yep. So these are all different ways that you can – these are things that you can incorporate into Trellio. Uh, in order to really get the, the most usage out of it, if you want to try to do uh, – what's the word I'm looking for? Like Slack. There you go. You can enable your Slack account, and it'll work together. Of course, you need to go in there and 
edit it and turn it on and on all that good stuff. Right. But you could incorporate it into the rest of what your Twitter account, like that might be a way that you could, again, I, I don't think you can post directly from Trellio to your social media. If I'm wrong, I apologize. Um, I think you have to use another service, uh, something like Zapier or like uh, if this, then that, but, uh, the power-ups, uh, look to be like a pretty cool, uh, addition as well. Of course you've got stickers because who doesn't like stickers, yeah. uh, and, <laughs> uh, and then, uh, so much more. So, uh, the, the last thing that I wanted to show you while we were in here is if, if you do have something like you have a, a special event or a wedding or anything of that nature, and you're going to be setting up multiple boards that have the same conceptual thing over and over and over and over again, like you set up an account for a bride and groom and it has you know 30 different things in there that's where that copy feature comes into play oh there we go mm -hmm. so you could copy it and whatever's already in here now you've got a secondary copy of it so let's say that i've got the uh wade real wedding and that one's going to be on the 26th now, instead of having to type all that out, all over again, um, I could just have a, a simple template and then boom, now it's in this one and uh, I, can, I can use them independently. So it's a good one. It's a good way to copy long, intense things mm -hmm. where you want to, you, you don't really want to, you don't want to do the whole thing all over again. I don't see a way of copying like an entire note or actually, yeah, copy list. Uh, let's see here two oh sweet okay that's even better so yeah you could you could conceivably create a uh instead of doing it in events you could have a uh template board and then in this template board you could create your wedding checklist and then fill this up with all kinds of different things that need to be done and then copy the list so instead of wedding checklist, this is going to be wedding checklist for the, the Wade wedding. And then move this list to a different board. So events, March 2017, I'm going to move it there. So now I've completely copied it, and now it's right there. Hmm. And it would be that, that new template so you don't have to do the whole thing all over again. One more thing that I'm loving about Trellio. So there you go. Yeah. Um, all right, so I know that we're getting really, really close on time. Um, okay, let me, I have to move a couple things real quick and we'll go over here. Trellio, there it is, Trellio right there in the center. I've already downloaded it and I've actually already logged in. It's just like any other app. But as you can tell, I've been, I've been doing this on my, on my desktop um, and it pops up instantly here on my, on my tablet, which would also be my phone. Right. Uh, here comes my events. It's just a simple scroll feature. Uh, very smooth, uh, very elegant, has all the same features and functionality as anything else that I've got going on, uh, with the desktop. So, uh, yeah. So I guess, uh, as, as a, as a step away, and of course you could create something new. If you're on a specific team like DJ and TV, socially mobile, you can create your board uh, and then get access to it through there. Um, just like what we talked about before, there's the uh, the Zapier header that we were we were just discussing. Um, it is how do I stop sharing? There we go. It is uh, one of those. It is. How do I how do I describe this? It, it's a it's a service that I didn't think I was going to like, and then when I started exploring around in it, it is really something that I'm I'm really really liking. So um, I think that the main thing to take away is it's it's all about collaborating. It's all yeah. about working with other people. It's all about uh, getting communication out there as much as possible. If you're a single op, be creative, use it creatively. Um, use it for business purposes, use it for, for personal purposes, but, uh, for a visual person, like I am a visual person, this could be super duper handy and helpful. Exactly. And I like the way it, it is one more of those things that is on your computer at, on the desktop. If you need it, it's on your tablet. If you need it, it's on your phone and it syncs up all the way around. Yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. Um, I am glancing through the questions that I missed, and I'm so sorry about it. Uh, Ian, can't we just use Google Keep instead? You could totally use Google Keep. You could totally use that for a majority of it. Uh, I think that Google Keep is designed for more of like a notepad that's in your pocket. It's real quick stuff that you're going to have right there. Uh, you can use it on, a, on an expanded uh, basis if you want to. Uh, Trello, Trello, I feel, is for the long-term use. Yeah. So if, if you have bigger things that you want to do more customization with, I love Google Keep. I'm not going to stop using Google Keep, but, but Trello does have some really cool features that hopefully you guys were able to see that uh, for, for $0 out of your pocket, sign up for an account, start messing around with it. Ask, ask other people in your, in your uh, area, ask other professionals, Hey, do you use this? What do you use it for? And then uh, hopefully that'll, that'll give you a little bit more information. Uh, Mikey, it is similar to samepage.io, but Trello just has a, a, a wider scope of people that use it and it's updated more frequently and I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, so, and then Reggie, I'm so sorry. I didn't get to Facebook. Yeah. Oh, I, I forgot all about that. <laughs> Let me see if I can log in real quick and I'll show you. Uh... Yeah, Reggie popped out. Uh, well, Reggie, while you were gone, we went through it. <laughs> oh, oh, for he to, what? No, no, no. He he popped out. His he was his son called, so he took a he took the phone call. Um, oh. Always take the phone call. Yeah. Especially from the boy. Uh okay. Oh. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm hurrying. This is riveting. This is. This is. This is the riveting excitement. television. This is, this is anticipation. We're building. We're, we're building to that final, that climax at the end of the show. It's <laughs> awesome. Um, any questions from YouTube that I might have missed? Or no, I think they were following along, and there were a few things I was answering as we go. Okay, good, good. I'm this tre Trello is not something that I'm super familiar with, so I'm I I just want to apologize now afterwards that uh, I was kind of all over the place, and um, that's not something that I'm proud of. Uh, I I looked into it as much as I could beforehand, and uh, once I once I got back into it, then uh, yeah, so. Um, okay, so uh, for Facebook Live, again, I'm using this on on my tablet. Uh, the phone version is very similar. Tablet's going to look just a little bit different. There's the Optimus Miracle Movers, by the way. Um, if you have a free moment and you want to go like the Optimus Miracle Movers page, go for it. They're, they do really, really great stuff, so I highly encourage you to do so. So when you want to go live, just start to make a new post. So up there, what's on your mind? And then... Right at the bottom, it says go live. You click that go live, and what it's going to do, yes, 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 you can do all of that. Describe your video. Uh, demo live for DJN TV. And then you click that blue go live button. And once you click that go live button, then you're going to be live. Hi, everybody. I'm officially live on Facebook, on my personal Facebook. So, John, you're getting so much exposure because I'm everywhere. You're everywhere. I'm everywhere, everywhere. But that's it. That's how you go live. It's the easiest thing to do. Okay, bye, everybody. I'm going to stop. There's a little button at the bottom right that says finish. You click that finish button. And once you have, once it's kind of wrapped up doing all of that stuff, you can either delete it or you can post it. Um, I'm actually going to delete this because there's no Let's point see. of having that on my wall. And he, it showed up on my phone. Demo there live video go. for DJ and TV. Boom diggity. Uh, feel free to feel free to also use hashtags and live videos. Um, hashtags don't work uh, too well in Facebook, but they actually do help with live video a little bit. So nice. Doesn't it doesn't hurt? So, yeah. So that is uh, that is it. That that is how you do Facebook Live. That's a very quick overview of Trello. I gave you some updates on Facebook Messenger, and hopefully, I've answered all of your questions. So, thanks, John. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, 
thank you guys for being with us tonight uh, for, through both of our shows. And thank you guys for the, the webinar, being being with us and hanging out. Uh, it was kind of cool being able to do both tonight. So, Jared, next week we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be – I don't know if we'll be doing able to do a show next week. I've got – we'll be coming back from – uh, from Las Vegas with the photo booth expo. So oh. we'll have to see how things are, are going and such, but we may, we may be taking a week off next week. So, Oh, that gives me more time to prep so I can yeah. actually be ready for the show. That's kind of nice. <laughs> oh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll let you guys know. I watch, watch uh, my Facebook page or, or the DJN TV and we'll keep you guys up to speed of what's going on for next week. So Jared, you have yourself a wonderful week and everyone, thank you for watching and we will catch you guys next time. <laughs> Thank you.